these instructions will help you to pair your wireless SL VTB thermostat controller and heater. It is important to be aware that the heater will not work unless it is used in conjunction with the thermostat controller supplied. Firstly, please ensure that the heater is correctly installed and connected to the mains power supply, usually via a fused spur with an on-off switch located on the wall near the product. At this time, do not turn the mains power to the heater on. Please wait until instructed to do so a little later on. Now, remove the thermostat controller from its packaging. Remove the two screws on the front of the thermostat controller. At one end of the battery holder, you will see a clear plastic tag which you should pull out slowly. Please note that if you are setting more advanced features of the thermostat controller, you should do this before replacing and securing the backplate. Details of these can be found in the installation and user guide supplied with the controller. The screen will now show the current room temperature. Please replace the back and secure. Without turning the mains power on, set the fan switch to on, on the front of the heater. Now it's time to turn the mains power on at the wall and within 20 seconds, press and hold the large on-off button on the thermostat controller. Whilst pressing the on-off button, you will see pair and then test appear on the screen. Once you see test appear, release the button and the fan in the heater will run. To finish the pairing process, press the on-off button once do not hold it down. The screen on the controller will display the current room temperature. If the fan doesn't run once you see test in the thermostat controller screen, then the thermostat controller and the heater have not paired successfully. If this is the case, then repeat the process. On the front of the heater, there are controls to vary the fan speed, which should be set to the desired setting. Select the second switch for 600 watts heat output, and then also select the bottom switch for 1200 watts heat output. Turning back to the thermostat controller, press the large on-off button once. Do not hold it down. On the screen, the transmission symbol and the heating symbol will be displayed. This indicates that the thermostat is turned on. To adjust the desired room temperature, use the up or down arrow buttons. Press the up arrow button to increase the desired room temperature. The heating symbol indicates it is working and the down arrow button to decrease the desired room temperature. If the heat symbol on the thermostat controller is flashing, it indicates that the desired room temperature has been reached. If the heat symbol on the controller is solid, it indicates that the desired room temperature has not been reached yet. As soon as the desired room temperature is reached, the heater will turn off automatically. And if the room temperature drops below the desired room temperature, the heater will turn on automatically.